Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today I'm going to continue working in the Yo-Yo Journal. I'm almost done. Uh, I'm going to do another full page and this journal was a collaboration between Liz from Buttons for Brains and myself and we started this, oh gosh, I want to say maybe well, we started it in 22. I don't know if we started it in the, I think we started it in the spring. So I think it's been a year. And uh, Liz sent this back to me this after uh, January of 23. And I want to finish it up. I have been working in it. Um, these were the last few videos I have done. And um, I've I'm just, I like the way it comes out. I think I was overthinking it. I was having a hard time finishing it. And I think once I got started, more ideas started coming to me. So if you're having brain freeze and you're lacking motivation or something to do, trying to finish a project, start a project, just do a project. Just do any project and things will start coming back to you naturally. I know sometimes for me, it's hard if, I've, if I'm working in a particular journal, and I'm used to working with certain digitals, um, colors. It's hard for me to switch right over to another project. I just, I feel like I'm stumbling over rocks all the time, and I, I can't get a foothold under what I want to do. Um, but today I do know what I want to do. So I'm going to work on another dog page over here. Liz had put one in her, in the journal here for me. This is my journal. And it's a beautiful picture of a greyhound. And um, Liz does have a greyhound by the name of Millie. She's very cute. And right here, she did this page 3 July of 2022. So I'm going to get my stamp out, which is... May 9, 2023, and I'm going to stamp in my book um, as to when I did my dog page. So this is a very cute page, and I have doodles. I have two golden doodles, Bella and Daisy, but prior to that, I had an Airedale by the name of Peter, because he was born on Easter Sunday, so his surname was Sir Peter Rabbit. We called him Peter. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have him very long. And then prior to that, I had the honor of taking care of and owning three Springer Spaniels who, Springer Spaniels are my first love. And I got my first dog, Strider, Kitchener Lord Aragorn. He was named after a character in the Lord of the Rings. The whole litter was named after characters. And I I had Strider and I my husband surprised me with him. It was the first dog I ever owned. I never had a dog as a child. We had a neighborhood dog, Willie. He was a Bernice Mountain dog and um he he was everybody's dog. He went to everybody's house. He slept in every a different at a different family every night. Everyone fed him. We saved our scraps for him. So I grew up with Willie. Um, but he wasn't my dog and Strider was my first dog at the age of 25 and I had Strider until right after I gave birth to my twins and, um, I had to put him down three days after I, I came home with my boys and that was very hard between having the twins and having to put my first beloved dog down, it, it was it was tough. Um, and then we had Katie, who was Kiss Me Kate. She came from a litter uh, that was named after Broadway shows. And then I had a third dog, Reddy, Copper Top Kid. They were named after a bunch of batteries, which is an odd thing to, to do. Unfortunately, we couldn't keep Reddy. Um, I had him for probably three months and the breeder never told me he had colitis and um, I had to cook chicken, boil chicken for him every day and vegetables and we were building our home. We had the other two dogs and it was too much. So it was a very, very sad day, but I had to return him to the breeder so she could place him 
with another person. Um, she never told me he had colitis, and I didn't think that was fair to me or to Reddy. But he was beautiful. He was a liver and white uh, Springer Spaniel. Um, so I had my share of dogs in the day. So I want to do this page here. And in my Daphne's diary, the one I've been working out of, um, there is a page on cats and there is a page on dogs, what to gift your dogs. So I initially was going to take this photo out, which I'm going to leave for another um, time. And it's all about giving, ban you know, a, a gift of a bandana to your dog and peanut butter cupcakes. Um, and then when I flipped it over to see what was on the back, I saw this here of this gal walking the dog. Well, I have another gal that I'm going to, that's going to be walking the dog. Maybe her. I don't know. I'm going to cut the two of them out and then I'm going to see if they actually fit. I have another, I have another little more sophisticated lady that may be walking this dog, but I'm going to, I'm going to take her out because I just noticed Liz has blue over here. So this blue may, may match and may be a little bit better. So I may just use her after all. Um, but I'm going to get these two cut out. And when I'm done with that, we will return and we will continue in the book. All right, so I have this gal and her dog cut out. And I think I am going to use her because I like this blue against the page that Liz created. So I'm going to be using her. And then I have a Mary Inglebrett. Is it Brett? Mary Inglebright? Mary Inglebrett? I'm not sure which is. I have this cute little book. Let me show you. And again, I grabbed this at a library sale. And this was on a free table. There was a, a really big table with all kinds of free books on it. Inglebrett. Mary Inglebrett. So I grabbed this little book here. And uh, I've taken a few things out, but there's really nice sayings in here. And I love her artwork. I love her images. So in this book, there was one here with, with a pup. And he just reminds me of my Springer. And it's everyone needs their own spot. And that is true with everything in life. Everybody needs their own spot. And when you get that spot, you shine. Um, so, and of course, it's a play on words because a lot of people used to name their dogs Spot. So, I'm going to be putting this up here in the right or the left-hand corner. So, we're going to get this attached on here right away. There's some black and white check that, oh, I hate to cover up, but, you know, I like my black and white little trim spots. So we're going to put this right up here. And this red border, this just really, I like this because it matches the ruffle here that Liz had. It's got blue that comes over into here okay and then I have these package of trees because Liz had some greenery here and I wanted to add some greenery on my side of the page so I have this little bundle of trees and I found one that again I cut you can see there's a lot of white so I took most of the white off and I just fussy cut and cut around it and I'm going to put that tree right here Okay, and then I've got my gal who is walking her pup that she's going to go right over here in this corner. And I just I don't know what I would do without my pups. My sons keep saying, "Mom, you know, they Uh, Bella is now six and Michael's like mom half her life is over I'm like let's not go there 
Let's not even go down that road. She's got a lot of good life left in her. Um, but it is so sad when we lose our when we lose our babies. There's such a huge part of our lives and our family members and um and we are real dog lovers in this house here. So it's But they say, Mom, you know, are you going to get more dogs after Bella and Daisy? And I'm like, no. Because I'll be in my 70s then. And I'd like to have a little bit of freedom to travel and not have to worry about boarding them. And who's going to... I don't like to board my dogs because they get too anxious. So um, this summer, later this summer, we're going to Maine. And I... Uh, my daughter-in-law, thank heavens, um, suggest that um, one of their friends and his girlfriend come and stay at the house and take care of the dogs. And the dogs know them very well. So I don't like to take them out of their environment. We used to have dog sitters all the time. But they either have, you know, families now or they have responsibilities of their own with their animals. And it makes it a little hard. But I try not to board them. So... I've looked into Airbnbs to rent, but that's never worked out. You know, the dog-friendly ones. So, if it means staying home because I can't put my pup in a good spot, well, then that means staying home. But this year, it, it's going to work out just nice. Okay, and then I have this little quote, a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself. And that is going to go there. And then I have this cute little dog bowl <laughs> that I have a die cut for, and I'm going to put this cute little dog bowl right down here. I'm not going to color it in. I'm just going to leave it as it is. He's going to have a nice little snack under the tree here. His little dog dish. And then I have this. Um, I have this love stamp with a little puppy on it, and I'm going to put that right up here. And I'm just wondering if I shouldn't add, guess what, my little black polka dots. You're probably like, oh, girl, give it up. Give it up. Let's just try this. I can just do a little. Oh, I think that'll be cute. And we'll just bring this down a little bit. Where's my stamp? Where's my stamp? And I'm going to put my stamp right there. And of course, you know what I'm going to do on Liz's page? I got to add a little tiny bit of washi tape to tie the two together. There, isn't that cute? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to rip it down. And 
and we will put we're gonna put whoops we'll put that one there and we'll put this one up here and that will help tie in the two pages there cute so that is my puppy page and I just I think that's very cute we love our dogs us dog lovers there is nothing like them so thank you for joining in with me today um hearing me ramble on about my pups that I've had in the past and the two that I have now and um yeah, I just love Liz's page. Look at these little puppies. The kids in the wheelbarrow playing with them. This little boy over here hugging his dog. So I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up on this. I'd love to hear your comment. And I'd love to hear what you have. If you have a dog, I'd love to hear uh, what what type of dog you have. If you got your if you have a rescue dog, God bless you. Um I love rescues dogs. They, they are just so full of love. And I mean, all dogs are full of love. And God bless you for taking them in and going to your local shelter to rescue one. Um, you're very, very, very special. And God bless you for that. And um, the names of your dogs, you can comment and gush over your dogs as much as you want over at my channel. So thanks, everybody. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.